previously on Income School. Mm, more like newscaster, like show that you're excited about this. More okay. formal, I'd say. Okay. Previously on Income School. A little like weird. Um, <laughs> okay. I guess um, it needs to be like a movie, like uh, like Liam Neeson, you know? Okay. I, maybe I can do that. Previously on Income School, we spent a few hours as a team overhauling DiscGolfNow.com and more than tripled his revenue. This week, we take on another winner of our Instagram contest who has traffic and wants to launch a piano course. It's, uh, that, I mean, it's frightening. It feels like you're going to steal my family or something. Uh, no, I will get vengeance on you for harming my family. That's what I do in my movie. <laughs> All right, so we worked with Chantel, who um, we did the Instagram contest, and then we found out she lives like three miles from I know, our like, office. Had nothing so to do cool. with her selection. Just <laughs> wow, uh, random chance. So she has a site about piano, and uh, it's perfect, like with COVID and everything, and people can't take their kids to piano lessons. That she's wanting to teach a course. She has some traffic, about ten thousand page views a month on the website, and we're like it's time for a course. And so she did a lot of the legwork creating the course. We oh, helped yeah. set up the technology to make it possible with Member Mouse and Learn Dash, um, showing her how to do that. Yep. But here, we're focused on how to actually sell because most That's people key, get their ebook or whatever, launch it, and it's just crickets because you don't have the sales machine turned on. So um, first, I think we gotta dive to that, that sales page, the sales copy. There, it's so tremendously important that you get that right. Getting eyeballs onto a product from cold traffic, like cool, we'll get the eyeballs, we'll get the traffic there, but cold blog traffic is tough. Yeah, so we so, I mean, we sat here for a couple hours, me and Nathan, just like, how do we present this course? We need the right tagline, and then inspiration struck. I was just telling Nathan how awesome our work was here, I'm proud of it. Okay, can, can we just read this to you? Yes. So I feel like the most important thing on a sales page, maybe after the video, are these boxes. Can you move this, Nathan, so we can see? So we've been wordsmithing these boxes. We've probably spent two hours on them now. Just these six little sentences. Um, so we, I really feel like the bullet points on a sales page are super critical. Don't crush your child's interest by forcing them into traditional lessons. Oh, it's marketing genius. <laughs> I love it. It just, it immediately tells you this is a little bit different than traditional lessons, but instead of like, yeah, we can't be on, we can't be in person with you, so this is still an option. That's not how you sell this. This needs to be better than the other options. Love that. Okay, then we need to say what's unique about this course is you assume because it's online you won't have face-to-face -face interaction, so we hit that immediately. Face-to-face -face video chats with the teacher keep your child on track. Great. Learn by playing songs rather than just memorizing scales and letters. That's appealing to me because I know if I had to force my kids to learn that, they will just hate it immediately. Costs less than half of what most in-person teachers would charge. Don't you wanna buy this already? Um, connect your piano to our computer system to get instant reports. What, it does that? And then this one, um, students can master several new songs each week. And then it explains, kids are more proud of their progress when they can learn new songs each week instead of playing one song for months before a recital. I love it. When you're trying to sell something, most people tell them about the course. Well, we have 42 lessons, and it's really in depth, and it's great, and you're gonna learn so much. Wah, wah. These are like super specific reasons why when one husband or wife comes to this sales page and they go to their spouse to tell them why they picked this, it's like, those are the reasons, the specific reasons why to pick this. I think this is gonna sell the course. I kinda wanted to big tagline at the beginning that just really hooks you in the beginning. Nathan, scroll us up. Never drive your child to piano lessons again. Kaboom! <laughs> I like it. I like that it just, it immediately draws a distinction between it. And like, that is the worst for parents, right? You've got to, oh, it's Tuesday at five and I got to go pick up Jimmy and Tommy and Sally. 
That is awesome. All right, so sales copy got that totally dialed in. But now we have tested sales pages both without a video, a sales video, and with a sales video. And without any exception ever, with a sales video always performs better. The problem is it's gotta be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> they're tough and they're intimidating. Yes, absolutely. very intimidating to make a sales video. It's really easy to sit down there and be like, I have a piano course, it is great, it is good. <laughs> <laughs> I, and you just start talking about how expansive it is and it just doesn't sell yeah. the person on what it's doing for them. So uh, you worked with her on the nuts and bolts of how to actually record it. Exactly. So let's go to that. Let's start with the process of scripting the video and then how that turns into actually recording it. So again, we should probably have you read it again and tell me just mm -hmm. how long it is and yeah. what we need to cut out. Yeah, because I think it is longer than a minute and a half. I'm wondering if we should kind of like group it so that it's like we focus on the technology for a bit and then we focus on the feedback from you for a bit. So Learn With Jones is a step-by-step, -step. gives kids the freedom to learn more than just the traditional songs. They practice and develop skills with technology and get real-time feedback. So that's kind of like the four things. All right, guys, I'm super excited, and Chantel is very nervous about this, but we've been working on our sales video, and it is ready to go. We're about to start recording. Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of setup. We just had a little fun with this. We got two cameras, got a fun ring light, and she has a lap mic on right now. So we're going to start going. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're recording on this and this and this. So okay. I'll give you that. You can put that back in your lap. Just pause, take a breath. Read through the second paragraph again, and then just look at the other camera, and start. All right, so while she's over there recording, um, I want to tell you a little bit about this scripting process. Normally for a video, we would say never, ever, ever script it, because it just comes across as too mechanical. But for a sales video, we kind of want to wordsmith it and get it just right. So what we've done is we wrote out a rough draft script. What we're shooting for here is about a 60 to 90 second video. So this is a Google Doc and it's basically one page, right? And it's written out, scripted, but as she's over there recording, she's still not worried about getting it word for word. And then what she's doing is she's just saying as much as she can remember, and then she's pausing, looking at the other camera, and then saying the next segment so we can cut them together and it'll flow together as one seamless sales video. Okay, so she just finished recording. <laughs> How was that, Chantal? Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm glad it's done, but it was fun. No, oh, that's it's good. good. That's awesome. So the video is going well, and we're going to show you some clips of the f the final product. Her first sales video, I think she did great. Yeah. But when you're writing that script, you have to recognize what sells, and every infomercial follows the same script because it works you're selling headphones, um, it starts out in black and white, and they're like, you put on your old giant earphones? Ouch, that <laughs> <laughs> Right? No, put on your AirPods Pro, right? Ding. So it's problem. It's now in color. Solution, <laughs> then description. You're talking about all the benefits of Air AirPods Pro, then you need closes things that are like specific logical reasons. But if you order now, you'll get free shipping. But wait, I'll send you seven <laughs> AirPods Pro, right? So it's problem, solution, description, description of what you actually get. Mm -hmm. And the closes. Yeah. So let's break apart that sales video that is deceivingly simple. Watch what she says at the very beginning. Hey, if you're like me, you might just get sick of driving your kids to piano lessons every week only to see them dragging their feet through piano practice all week long and not even seeing that much progression. I am a mom and I'm a piano teacher of 17 years and I've seen both sides. I got so frustrated that my kids weren't progressing like I wanted them to and I was wasting all that money and all that time on my kids. I thought there was a better way to do it. And then <laughs> watch what she <laughs> says next. So it's your problem. Now we're going to the solution. She's going to describe how she's solved the problem. 
That's why I created a new program with a hybrid of both technology and traditional piano lessons since there were so many benefits to both ways. As kids practice within the walls of their own home with this program, they'll be able to use the program to develop professional habits from the very beginning. Okay, now pay attention here. I'm sorry, you gotta start everything with okay now. Okay now. Pay attention here as she walks through. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> is it? Yeah, is it okay? it's not I'm bad. trying. I'm not great. Uh -huh. at, I wish I had that low gravelly voice. It's awesome. <laughs> no, but really pay attention here to, to how she walks through what you're actually going to get in the course. I can't tell you how many times where sales copy and the sales video completely neglect to tell you what's going to happen when you buy the product. Mm -hmm. She's going to walk you through. You get this, you get this. Just check it out for yourself. I'll walk your child through step by step so they will be able to know exactly what to practice next to help them progress and learn those essential skills to playing the piano. This program allows students to learn more than just your traditional songs. With an immense library of over 20,000 songs, they have so much to choose from and if they happen to not find their favorite song, you can request it. It includes a unique tool that will allow them to sight read better, which means that your child will learn the skill to be able to sit down and play whatever music they want to when they want to. Kids can learn mechanics much better with this program, which means that I get to focus on the artistry of piano. Envision this, when your child has questions or has any issues, you can send me a message and get to me and you don't even have to wait till the following week to have a reply. Now at the end, she's giving closes. Closes are things where you've got to appeal to the logical minds and make, say something that's gonna make them take action. If we're giving a close for Project 24, we may say something like, um, you know, we're really excited with the progress that others have seen in the program, but the thing that we hear all the time is they wish they would have started sooner on, on their journey. So um, we know it's an investment to get started, but it's an investment in yourself and something that can change your financial future, right? It's a close. There's it's, like a it's, couple it's, closes built into, wrapped into that. Yeah, you're, awesome. you're saying like, hey, it's time for action, right? That, that's what you're trying to do. You're, it's, it's a little bit off of the glitz and glamour of the product and now telling you why it's time. Your role as a parent is to watch them progress. Think of all that time that you will have saved and all the pedicures you can go get. I feel so passionate about this that I want to offer this at half price of what traditional lessons would normally cost because I want piano to become a lifelong love of your child and I want you to be able to enjoy that beautiful music within the walls of your own home. All right, so we're just about done here with Chantel, um, working on her site, and I feel like we've accomplished a ton. But now we wanted to just sit down and talk with her for just a few minutes and find out what she thinks of this experience that she's had so far. So Chantel, uh, first of all, it's been a huge pleasure. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit, how did it feel or what did you think? What went through your mind when you found out that we were gonna overhaul your site for you? I was like, me, my site, that's awesome. And I think the biggest thing it did for me is it gave me confidence that you guys saw the potential of my site, that I could be successful. Cause when you're on your own doing your own thing, it's hard to see that. Seeing you guys knowing that you guys chose my site was like, yes, we can do this. We can make this work. What were some of the main things that you hoped you would get out of this? I really wanted to work on my monetization because the traffic is growing, not as much as I would hope for, but um, I've, I had about 15,000 page views with only like a hundred bucks in like my revenue. And I was thinking I could totally do more than this. So I was hoping for that um, way of just making the monetization grow. And did you have a plan before you started of like how you wanted to monetize it or did you just have a few ideas? Well, honestly, as I won the contest, I was like, it gave me that much confidence that I was like, okay, how are we gonna make this work? And so I started thinking through my brain, thinking, okay, what would they tell me? How, what would they say? And just putting myself in your shoes helped me look at my site differently. And so I started getting some ideas and then started mulling those things around and eventually found a course that um, I felt like would be valuable for people yeah. and that I could put on my site. And you guys helped me do that. Last question is what things surprised you? What things you came here and you're like, oh, I never would have thought of that before. What was different? 
So one of the things that surprised me the most um, was I was really surprised at when I came, how much the process was exactly the same as you've already taught us. I really thought, oh, they know so much more. They've got all this experience. They will tell me X, Y, Z. And it's, I just, there's stuff I need to know about my site that they can tell me. But in reality, it was very much what I already knew. That was just kind of some support along the way. So that surprised me that there wasn't anything new. Like it really was exactly like we've yeah. been taught how to do. And that's how you guys do it too. That is yeah. very awesome. It was really cool, actually. I think just the fact of having the confidence that it's gonna work. Like we can make yeah. this work was a huge like mind block to c overcome and just think, okay, if they believe that this is gonna work, like I can too, you know? And moving forward and taking that that leap of putting yourself out there and yeah. and making it really go to the next level. Well good, I'm, I really am just totally thrilled. I'm excited to see how this does for you and how we can ramp this thing up for you in the future. It's yeah. gonna be great. Cool. <laughs> So the cool thing about this is you can go see her sales machine right now. Yeah. Um, just go to pianotels.com. We've got, got your link for you. Every word on there is what we wrote. Yeah. You know, we've designed the sales page, the sales video we worked with her on, all of the sales copy, like, mm, each of those sentences, those, those six boxes saying what's, why you would buy the course. Oh, so good. Take that as a recipe. Um, and you can use that recipe on your product and you'll find out what's worked. It has taken us years and selling millions of dollars of online courses and e and e products, info products to be able to figure out what actually gets people to move without being super salesy um, and sp spammy and pushy. It's just about making something great, explaining it clearly and letting them make their choice. Exactly. Now, it's time for you to make, you know, come with me. Field trip? <laughs> field trip. <laughs> Liam Neeson field trip. Liam Neeson field trip. Look, don't waste another minute. This, this is the chair. This is the spot that Chantel put herself in. It was scary. It was nerve wracking. She wasn't sure she was going to be able to do it. And you can see what she was able to create. It's time for you to sit down in the chair and it's time for you to create something amazing that your customers, that the viewers on your website are going to love to go buy. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Sit down, you're making an info product. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs>